The history of Kazakh native land is rich. Ancient cities, great men, events and archaic architectural monuments provide evidence for this. Comprehensive history of Kazakh steppe is an object of interest for native land program. In today's program, the Jetusu district cannot be described by words. Karkara Valley, place of battle for freedom. Enigma of singing Aigai Kum. The fighters of the Kazakh musical art, born in Jetusu. Jetusu, a beautiful land that conquered poets with its indescribable beauty and served as inspiration for them. In the north, it borders with the Lake Balhash, in the northeast, with Sasikol and Alakol, in the east, with the Jungarian Alatel, in the south, with the Tian Shan Mountains and the seven rivers that make up the district's name. Lepsi, Baskan, Sarkan, Aksu, Buyan, Karatal, and Koksu. Archaeologists, historians, and geographers divide Jetusu into two parts, northeastern Jetusu and southwestern Jetusu. Jetusu is the center of ancient culture. The Saka tribes inhabited this land in the 7th 4th centuries BC. In this region, there are traces of the Turkic, Turkesh, and Karlu Kaganates. This region is a witness of great events in the history of the Kazakh people. Oiran Tobe, located in Jetusu, is where Rheinbeck Batur defeated the Jungar. This place is located in the gorge between the mountains of Toraigur, Sogeti, and Bugeti. If we talk about the history of Oiran Tobe, they say that in ancient times, the army under the command of Rheinbeck Batur fought against the Jungar and won. Researchers associate this event with the death of Galdan Seren and the weakening of the formerly powerful state due to internal strife. There are several facts about this event, about the tactics of conducting the battle. One of them is a legend. According to legend, in ancient times, Kazakh and Kalmyk troops fought on Oiran Tobe. Equal in strength, the two armies could not defeat each other in any way, and the battle lasted a month. Since the day when this long battle ended, during which blood ran in torrents, this place began to be called Oiran Tobe. Another story, which became a legend, tells how the leader of the army, Rheinbeck Butter, saved the army from destruction. He found a source of water in the mountains and gave water to his soldiers. And even there is a spring called the Spring of Rheinbeck, which flows near the Alas Pass on the eastern part of Mount Toraiger, one of the largest national liberation revolt of the heroic Kazakh people was also in Jetisu. Kazakh people died a thousand times and resurrected a thousand times. This is the Karkari Revolt of 1916. A fair was held on the eve of this bloody event in the valley of Karkara. About this famous fair, the great writer Mukhtar Awezov wrote in his novel Kili Zaman. Every summer Karkara hosts a fair once a year, but in full swing. For more than a month, a large market in Karkara is going well. Every day, it is more magnificent, noisier and more crowded. Here, nine roads converge and weave into a knot from all directions. Here, merchants came from Russian cities, from the Volga to the Irtysh, even from Hiva, Bukhara, Samarkand, and even from Kashgaria and Kulji. It seems that the valley is overcrowded and the goods flow and flow here day and night, like a riotous spring streams from the mountains. At this fair, the district police officer, Podvarkov, gathered the volosts and ordered to provide a list of men aged 19 to 43 in three days who will be sent to their real work. The volosts prepared lists. So on July the 6th, 1916, representatives of villages belonging to 16 volists were gathered in the east of Mount Akbeit. At this meeting, the Kazakhs of Karkara protested against the Tsar's decree and flatly refused to send soldiers to the rear work. On July the 11th, in 1916, such figures as Uzak, Jamenke, Janabai, Serikbai, Aubakir, Kazbek rebelled against the colonial policy of Tsarist Russia and planted down a standard on the Yere oil too. Вот төгөнүн өзү сол кезде бир штаб сыяктуу жаңагы акылдасатын 
On this mountain, councils were held, orders were issued, governors came in power, tasks were given. This mountain at that time was used as a headquarters. It was an important place. So they gathered in this place. Having asked everyone to come, the leaders of the National Liberation, apprising Uzak Butter, Jamin K. Butter, Aubakir Butter, called the people to revolt with the words, let us, the old people, die at the hands of the Tsar, then give him our children. We will not give children. We must rise. They were supported by the people, and this was reported to the national leaders and Jharkhand and Talgar Uyests. So the war began, and all our great-grandfathers, who were leaders of rebellion and instructed their rebels, were caught. Chains were put on their arms and legs, and they were taken to Jharkhand and Karakol prisons. The Tsarist government sent 35 troops. Out of 8,750 people, 3,900 torturers, 16 tank guns and 47 machine guns to Jetusu to suppress the Karkari uprising. To protect themselves from the armed army, the rebels hide it in the mountains and knowing the terrain, they use the mountains as fortifications. Still armed with guns and machine guns, the army killed thousands of rebels. In October 1916, the Karkari uprising was suppressed. The Karkari uprising was the result of conscious actions that showed the unity of the Kazakh people for the sake of the future of the nation, a witness of the great prowess of great-grandfathers who aspired to freedom. Well, Yeri Uil Tobe is a monument of historical value, a symbol of the struggle for independence. This is a historical heritage that the previous generation of the Kazakh people left to the next generation. In Jetusu region, there is a national park, Altin Emel, where beautiful natural monuments are preserved. The park, covering 250,000 hectares of the land of Jungar Alatau was established in 1996. The most famous place of the state-protected Altin Emel National Park is the single Barkans or Aigaikum. The length of the Barkana is about 3 kilometers and the height is about 150 meters. The peculiarity of these sands on clear days they make melodic sounds. The secret of Aigaikum is in the wind and sand, that is, under the influence of the wind. Small particles of sand rub against each other and emit a clear sound, like a sound sasarnaya. Another feature of these singing sands is that they do not roam like other dunes. Barkans are in the same place here, on the territory of the Altinamel Park, for thousands of years. It turned out that such singing dunes are only in six places of the world, except Kazakhstan. That is, singing barkans can also be heard in the sands of California and Michigan, in the Nabib Desert, in China and in Wales. Another wonderful place in Altin Emel is the mounds of Beshatur Khan. If you look from afar, they look like ordinary hills about 20 meters high. According to scientists, the leaders of the Saka tribes are buried in this place who inhabited this region in the 7th, 3rd centuries BC. Along the mounds, there are 45 stone statues on which animals are depicted. They say that the tourists who first saw these stones compared them to Stonehenge in England. Also, in Altin Emel, there are Katutau and Aktau, differing by their unusual forms. Katutau is a volcano lava that instantly froze during the eruption. Despite the fact that thousands of years have passed, seizures and cracks of various shapes and sizes have been preserved in the same pristine form. These forms sometimes resemble shelves, sometimes dishes, sometimes Khan's throne. The peculiarity of Aktau is that the mountain is covered with marine sediments of red, green, pink, even blue. This mountain appeared on the side of the sea, 
which was once here. And the sea, in turn, left a mark on the surface of the mountain. Archaeologists in these parts even found bones of dinosaurs. Maijetisu, the best of all lands. Kurkildek, Koksu, Lips, Ili, and Chu. Is there anyone who does not admire the springs of the mountains that reach the sky? Silent mountain, eternally enveloped in clouds. Dense forest, blue lake, loose sand. There can be a person who once tried. Do not be bored by the waters flowing from the high mountains. Elias Jansugurov praised the nature of Jetesu like this. A Kazakh poet who was born in these areas in 1894. He is the author of such classical works as Kui, Kushi, Kulager, as well as major works in the genres of prose and drama. He also contributed to the development of this genre of criticism of fiction. He translated works of Pushkin, Lermontov, Nekrasov, Gorky, Heine, and Hugo into the Kazakh language, thereby expanding the connection between Kazakh and world literature. Ilya Shansugurov is a talented writer and poet who enriched the poetics of Kazakh verbal art. An outstanding, deeply thinking person became a victim of political repression in 1938. Paradise corner of the earth, Jetesu is also home to Nurgisa Atabayulit Lendiev, respected person by all Kazakhs. Nurgisat Lendiev is a well-known musician, composer, conductor, Dombra player, the holder of the title Halik Kaharmani of the Republic of Kazakhstan during his lifetime was recognized as a famous figure of Kazakh music. He is a close relative of the great poet Shambil, a pupil of the famous composer Ahmad Zhubanov, was personally acquainted with Dina Nurpiyisova and received her blessing. Nurgisat Lendiev wrote music for such cartoons as Why is Swallow's Tale is Divided? Aksak Kulan, based on fairy tales and legends, as well as to the films Menin Atim Koja, Anxiety Time, Kizjibek, his songs Kuwa Bol, Kustar Kaiti Baradi, Remember Me, a popular nowadays. They say that the village is a golden cradle. We are all born in the village. Let's all have the opportunity to come to the village. There is no Kazakh who does not know the duet of Kanat and Aitkul Kudaibergenovs, who have been wishing a good journey to all travelers for 40 years with Dombra in their hands. It's a pleasure to listen to the performance of a stellar couple. They sing such folk songs as Egogai Dombra, Sergaim, Kozinen Ainalayan, Shelber Jeken, Janai Silkum. I was born in the village of Kainar, a former collective farm named after Krupskaya. Now this street is named after Okan Tastandiev, the famous shepherd, the pride of this village. He was elected several times as a deputy. The street is named after him, the former street named after Krupskaya. And this is my home. Here I was born, on July 26, in 1956. Since then, almost 61 years have passed. Kanat and Aitkul Kudaibergenovs are honored artists of the Republic of Kazakhstan, holders of the Order of Kurmet. The contribution of this family to the development of Kazakh art and culture is huge. We arrived in the native village of Kainar, so our native land, met relatives. We are very excited, thank you, we are very pleased. We remember childhood. Love for the motherland, warm feelings for the native land are sacred for each person. The most important source for the inception and rooting of this feeling is history. Because without the past, there is no future. Without history, there is no national spirit. Each mountain, each plain of the indescribable Jetesu district tells about the past of the brave Kazakh people. <laughs>